hello guys and welcome to my youtube channel my name is sonia and this is my vlog where i just make videos about any and anything i feel like and today is a throwback travel thursday video and in today's throwback travel thursday video i'm going to show you a bit of what i got up to when i traveled to belgrade serbia in 2012. now i went to belgrade serbia for an internship so to say in a multimedia um, school or company so I went to learn how to do animation and edit and you know direct short films produce short films but mostly like the back-end work like the editing and you know animating and also like you know the strategy like the storyboard all of that so I went to learn how to do that because pretty much I was just bored with work and I just needed a break and I needed to do something different. So I took four months off of work and my amazing boss, which you guys have already heard of, um, was doing business with some people in Serbia. So he connected me with them as well. He allowed me to go for the four months and the four months I was away from work, he was they were still paying me salary. And he told me, because I think I went for the beginning of April, he told me that if by the beginning of August, he doesn't see me then he'll assume that I'm not coming back to work there right and they'll stop paying me but I went back in time but I only spent two months in um, Belgrade and the other two months I was pretty much in the UK I didn't stay there completely for the other two months because I got tired <laughs> went back to Nigeria and just chilled before I started work again in August and even apart from paying me while I was there he still sent 2,000 euros to me for like pocket money through the guys that he was doing business with in Serbia and those guys jilted me or scammed me out of 800 bucks of that money and I'll tell you wow <laughs> later in the video but yeah it's mostly just pictures because I didn't take a lot of videos so it's just like a slideshow of like stuff that I did while I was there. So the backstory is I had to pay to go for this internship, which is funny, right? Cause I had to pay for my flights. I had to pay for them to teach me all these things. I also had to pay for where I would stay. So they rented like a house for a bunch of us to stay in. So it was like six of us, like six, five or six of us that were staying in that house. And I had a roommate I can't remember everybody's name right now, but yeah, it was very interesting staying with that much, that many people. And at some point we had a couch surfer or two. So there were more than even five or six of us in the house at some point. It was very interesting. It was a great experience because I ended up couch surfing myself. So this is my room. This is the house I stayed at. This is the living room. This is my roommate. This is us doing some animation. Why is this? It's found. Try to find the camera. You can stop now. This is Diana. We're still friends on Instagram. Vid. Me showing my room and my nice outfits in the playground. This is the building where we were doing the YIT classes. Me again, me in front of the Senate. A wedding party on a bus. Me getting my eyebrows waxed. Me at the movies. Me after going to the zoo with my Serbian boyfriend. <laughs> at the zoo. Petting a goat or whatever. And then an elephant. After the zoo, chilling with my Serbian boyfriend and his friends. Just some random people. My roommates, me buying my sunshades, my glasses. So some backstory to those photos you just saw. <laughs> the way I was in the store buying my famous Ray-Ban shades. I've had them since 2012. This is the way I don't like shopping, guys. And I, I don't know, maybe because I'm broke, but I'm not really someone like beats my, beats, like tries to buy all the luxury items or buy like lots of stuff like if I have one good thing and it's not broken I'm not really trying to buy a new one especially not another expensive one I could buy cheaper versions and just have that one really good quality one that's the kind of person I am so that's where I when I bought my Ray-Bans in that store and I still wear them till today this is just a random before and after because I hate seeing dirty fridges so I cleaned the fridge and that was the before and after 
So this is us in class learning a Serbian song. We had a Serbian teacher to teach us some basic Serbian just to like get around. So we're in class learning Serbian song so we can use it to learn Serbian. This is our teacher. She's also teaching us some Serbian dances. And I used to love this girl. Imagine I can't remember her name, but I loved her so much. <laughs> this is us at um, just chilling. This is my favorite girl. Then let's go to the food. Meat. I love Serbia because they like, like to serve a lot of meat. And their food is so cheap. Palachinki. Meat. This is one day I decided to like pig out. And some fine dining. Serbian fine dining. You know. Their food is so cheap. Like even their Serbian fine dining was cheap. This is a Vakar, their bakery. Gyros. I miss gyros. <laughs> And it's like healthy too, you know. I think this is like Mexican food. Soup. Fish. Then went to the falafel house. This is us at the falafel house with my favorite girl. Yeah. My falafel. This is in the center. Knez Mihailova. The man on the horse. The center. This is like an old building that was bombed. They had these buildings that had like these tiny elevators right like really small like in all those hostel movies and stuff this is the parliament this is a student hostel backstory to that last building that building is one of the um hostels in new belgrade where i eventually ended up staying two years later like i wouldn't i did not have a clue that i would end up staying in that place or end up schooling in serbia at all so it's just weird, you know, how you pass places and you see places and then you end up living there. A house in the suburb of Struk Village. In the city, parliament at night, somewhere in the center, somewhere in the center, the fountain in the center, Hotel Moscow or Moskva. We out partying, took a picture of some random guy. This is out out partying with Maria's friend, with Maria, with Maria's friend again, Maria's friend in Maria's truck because she had a smart car. So Maria is singing along to Two Face Song. I'm in Serbia right now. You're my African queen. Yay! The girl of mine. I'm not the African queen. <laughs> like I, I want to be the queen. You are my African queen. <laughs> the girl of my dreams. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all this happened suddenly. So suddenly. She gon' say, Oriato Sori. Hey! Oriato Sori. Oh, boy, I'm so cool. <laughs> this is so cool. Coco, yeah, this is Coco. Because they like me. Because I can give them the Coco Marcin and the Coco Marcin. <laughs> You're a Nigerian. Nobody can love you the way I do. I meet you, my lover, lover. With you, everything is well, well. Your love, they make my heart to be carry on. So backstory to the to Maria and her friend. Maria was the then Serbian consul counselor or consular officer like for the embassy, Serbian embassy in Nigeria. I don't think he was the ambassador, but he was like a consular officer or whatever kind of consular I don't know what they called him. But yeah, so she his daughter and so I also knew him, you know, because I had to do the visa and he's eventually the one that like helped me push, apply for the scholarship directly to Serbia and not through Nigeria because usually you have to go through the federal scholarship board but he is the one that eventually helped me like apply directly. Uh, he introduced his daughter to me so I met her while I was there and she was very, she's been to Nigeria a couple of times so she knew a lot of the Nigerian songs and that's why she was singing them like word for word. She was cool, you know, nice girl. 
So those last two pictures of the one that the black guy and the other guy wearing the red shirt, I had a crush on those two guys. I had a couple of crushes. That black guy was a basket American basketball player. He was playing basketball in Serbia. There were a couple of them that came to play basketball in Serbia. I had a I don't think it was even him I had a crush on. There was another one I had a crush on. I can't remember his name now, but I was looking for him everywhere. And at some point I did find him. I'm not sure if it was that same year or when I came back in 2013. I think I saw him that year in the club. I at some point saw him and we danced. And it was a very steamy dance. And I was so happy with myself that we did that dance. But then I never really spoke to him or her from him again after that. Like, we didn't even exchange numbers. We just used to randomly see each other in the club. On Hip Hop Net Wednesdays. I can't remember the name of that club. But on Wednesdays, they always had, used to play like R&B and Hip Hop music. So most of us black people <laughs> would go there for that. Okay, let's go. She's, she's like pulling my arm outside of the bench. What do you think after the match? What do you think? She's cheating. Why? Do you think? I'm awesome. Again, again, we don't cheat. Everybody in the club right now. Eh 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 oh eh oh eh eh everybody. We were pretty much just dancing to California here, just having fun in the club, you know, California, California. So these guys that my boss was doing business with knew like some political people like they were part of this party SPS and so they knew the chairman of the party and they knew the um, got the presidential aspirants or whatever so they decided to it would be a good idea to use me for some publicity right so they took me there and I met the chairman of the political party took pictures with him the next thing I know I was in a newspaper so I went to go buy the newspaper right and the lady saw me and she was like oh that's you I was like yeah <laughs> and then after that first appearance in the newspaper the another newspaper decided to do a whole interview of me so they invited me back to the party I went to the to the party building or whatever and they did an interview me in the conference room to glass of pictures and whatnot so i had a full cover, cover page i was on the front cover a little bit then i had a full page where they were talking about me and whatever in the newspaper and then when i got back to nigeria the consular officer showed me that i was on their that same newspaper online that they put me there and he was like that is when he now was like he can use this to help me get the scholarship in serbia because since I've been, I'm now sort of like popular in Serbia, that if they see that, he can say, yeah, she, you know, she's been here, she's been on YouTube, she went to support this party or whatever. I guess he used it somehow to help me apply, to apply and get the scholarship, right? And then those guys had been telling me, like the, my boss's business partner, my then boss's business partner, they were telling me that if they're the guy who, and they gave me like a membership card for the party, so he was like, if that guy wins president, I will, they will give me a Serbian passport. I was like, okay, cool. But he didn't win president. He won prime minister or something. So, but yeah, I didn't really hear from them again. They just used me as publicity and that was it. I didn't bother, you know, I'm just like, whatever. <laughs> My boss's business partner and his friend, me and the chairman of the party, me and the newspaper with the chairman of the party, 
me making one girl listen to the band um, suddenly or something one of those songs <laughs> the major language yeah I've heard you have about 300 uh, different dialects. We have a lot, yes. I don't know if it's up to 300, but then there's a lot. Different. There are lots. <laughs> I only know how to speak English. Well, <laughs> Then I went for some like cosplay thing for um, I think it was Lord of the Rings or the Goblin or be not the Goblin. The, I can't remember but one of those things. It was me with some of the people, the characters. <laughs> I also went for a Star Wars convention with Vid. And yeah, it's just with different people. And some random lingerie I bought. That um, lingerie, I just randomly decided to buy it because it looked cool. And just have it. I think I still have it till now. I haven't really worn it anywhere or for anyone. But yeah, it's just something. Sometimes you just like to have stuff and just wear it and feel good with yourself. So yeah, that is all for today's Travel Thursday. I hope you enjoyed it. And um as we move on to later years my footage or like the pictures and videos i have are more because then you know snapchat came out but they're mostly not landscape that's the problem they're mostly portrait so that's the annoying part um but yeah it they get more interesting pretty much but yeah so thank you for watching today's video don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to like thank you guys bye